Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Elo Bandit, and today I'm going to be talking about Dragonite, one of the all-time most powerful Pokemon of the 1v1 tier. I'll go over all of the quintessential movesets that you'll be seeing if you're playing 1 versus 1, all of the EVs that you should be using if you're planning to put this thing on your team, and all the moves that you should be prepared to calc for if you are playing against Dragonite. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and hop into this video. This is the first moveset, which is Physical Z-Move. This relies on hitting the opponent really hard with either um, just a straight-up Z-Fly or a Dragon Dance, followed by Fly. This is uh, the classic hit fairy types as a Dragon type moveset. EQ is great for hitting Heatran, Magnezone, all that good stuff. And Extreme Speed is essential for finishing off sturdy users. Um, doing that last little chunk of damage when your opponent lives with a sliver of health. And the alternate to this move set is to run Dragonium Z, and instead of Fly, you have Outrage on here. So this would be the classic um, Z Outrage set. You sometimes see more attack, you see like maxed out attack um, occasionally. This is for when you just want to hit as hard as you possibly can on the physical side with the one-two punch of Z Outrage E Speed. So that is Physical Dragonite. Special Dragonite is a little bit different. Um, the EVs, it's just maxed out special attack and maxed out HP. Instead of dropping attack, you actually drop speed because it's nice to have extreme speed on the set as a physical finisher. Um, the set is your choice of Z Fire, Z Flying, or Z Dragon. Like, all of these work. Um, I think Z Fire does the best job at baiting out Steel types. Z Hurricane is probably the best increase from uh, just special attacking Dragonite because you get rid of that 70% accuracy and you just hit really hard with that flying type nuke. And then Z Draco is pretty good as well. Um, if you want to run that Dragonium Z, but you don't like physical, um, if you would rather have that fire coverage, um, that is definitely an option that you have. Um, unfortunately, Special Dragonite doesn't really have a great way to boost his stats, so you generally see just four attacks, um, but that generally works out pretty well in the 1v1 tier. Moving on to Choice Band Dragonite, um, shout out to Mace Master for these EVs. This lets you tank uh, two Meteor Mashes from Mega Metagross. Uh, the moveset is Outrage and three moves to hit Steel types, because the only two things to resist Dragon are um, Steel and Fairy. So whatever the Steel type is weak to, whether it's a Skarmory weak to Fire, whether it's a Stack Attack weak to Earthquake, or, you know, probably <laughs> Stack Attack, whatever, weak to Superpower, um, this is this is the best moveset to take on steel types and things that are not steel types. You could alt in here Iron Head or Iron Tail. Um, Iron Head having higher uh, accuracy, Iron Tail having higher base power. Generally, you'd take Iron Head, but I actually prefer Iron Head on the specially defensive Dragonite set, which I'm going to cover right now. Uh, this is Weakness Policy Dragonite. I like this set because it bulks um, an Ice Beam from Modest Specs Greninja and you can KO that back with the Iron Head. Uh, this also works against fairy types like Mega Gardevoir. Fire Punch is on the set to hit steel types like Ferrothorn, Outrage because you're Dragonite and you click Outrage, and Extreme Speed because it's super nice to finish off things at plus two. Moving on to Choice Scarf Dragonite, again thanks to Mace Master for this set. Um, 36 invest into attack with superpower lets you KO uh, Megalopony, which is trying to fake out KO you, um, but can't. You have your dual stabs in Draco Meteor Hurricane to hit things twice before they hit you, basically. Um, hopefully you don't miss with that low accuracy Hurricane. And Fire Blast is here as the last slot, giving you the jump on things like Ice Beam, Genesect, Cartana, and that kind of thing. And finally, we've got some other options for Dragonite. Uh, Thunder Wave Roost is a really mean set that you can pull. Uh, Thunder Wave, of course, having your opponent's speed stat, and they have that chance to be fully paralyzed and do nothing for a turn. And when that happens, you get a Roost up for free, multi-scale activates again, you can set up a wrap, you can set up a substitute, and slowly will your opponent down with uh, trapping damage. And that's, that's one way to play Dragonite. It worked better back when Z-Detect was a thing, when you could run uh, Fighting EMZ with Detect for the 
evasion boost, but that's no longer in the picture. So past that, um, other options for Dragonite include Aqua Jet as an alternate source of priority if you don't like extreme speed. Um, I talked about Earthquake, I talked about fire coverage in Fire Punch Fire Blast, I talked about fighting type coverage, um, Power Punch I don't really recommend because you have better options to boost your attack if you want to use just Dragon Dance, and you have better options to hit things twice with extreme speed, so Power Up Punch not the best option. Ice Beam is decent if you're running Special Dragonite. Um, Surf is also alright, especially if you don't like the accuracy drop from Hurricane. Rock moves aren't really totally necessary, as you generally have Z moves to take out Charizards, um, or to hit Charizards. You lose to Zard if it has Will-O-Wisp and you're physical, but if, if it doesn't have Will-O-Wisp, you win with a Z move, so yeah, Rock moves not really recommended there. Um, speed control, I've talked about before, but I'll talk about it again. Um, Icy Wind, Rock Tomb, and Bulldoze are all decent options. Icy Wind more so for special, Rock Tomb, Bulldoze more so for physical, but it's really nice to be able to either slow down something that's faster than you and 2 KO it, or slow down something that's slower than you that's trying to slow you down, and then uh, getting the drop on it the following turn. So speed control is super nice to have in 1v1. Iron Tail is an option that you have if you want to hit harder than Iron Head and actually uh, KO things unboosted. So there's an option there. Uh, Rock Tomb I mentioned, awesome speed control. Rock Tomb probably the best speed control as you don't have to worry about um, Bulldoze not hitting flying types. And yeah, it's it's strong physical move. I like Rock Tomb a lot. Um, Past that, yeah, that's uh, pretty much how you use Dragonite. If you're doing the wrap thing, you could also sub in Whirlpool. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you all so much for watching how to use Dragonite in 1v1. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope you've learned something. Hope to see you all again next time.